you really get a sense when you're working on renewable energy that this is a moment of opportunity. So the alignment of all the different trends have come together in this moment. So we have, for instance, the cost declines in technology. We have the infrastructure development uh, that has allowed the uh, integration of variable renewables into the system in safe and manageable ways. We have uh, a decarbonization imperative that we have to deal with and we have an investment model where we have to grow our economy and create employment. Renewable energy presents a golden opportunity in all of that because it ticks every box. We have reached a point now where the renewables are the strongest source in our power system. So we have to do several things. The first one is move the renewables to the market. Very important. Those who produce electricity have to take on the responsibility for marketing the, uh, the electricity and we have to introduce more competition. So in Germany we moved away from the feed-in tariffs which were very helpful at the beginning now to auctioning system. Then the second biggest issue is making the market ready for renewables. We need more flexibility. So the innovation currently, besides the technical innovation, is mainly a market and a legislation innovation on this market side to follow up uh, with the speed of the integration of renewables. And actually, we reached last year already 49%. So 49% of the consumption in one third of Germany are covered by intermittent renewable energy. And that was only possible because we made um, changes in the market design. Innovation in business models. What we can learn from Silicon Valley is that a tiny company can become a $600 billion company in less than a generation. But the good news is that it's not just business models, it's changing people's lives. Uh, innovation is coming from the manufacturing industry, by and large. They are, they, they are innovating continuously their products. It's the whole industry innovating in all its manufacturing base. We can see already now new potential of market for renewables. This is particularly true if you are considering two sectors, the digital market and transport, in particular, electromobility. Uh, what surprised me out of the debate, by the way, was uh, the private sector saying there's no shortage of investment sitting on the sidelines looking for a new home in the renewable sector. So what does that say to governments? Uh, it's about the regulatory framework that needs to be established to give the investor comfort to go in, uh, not only to the developed world when it comes to renewable energy, but also go into the developing world. It's not about financing. Uh, there's a lot of money, uh, surprisingly a lot of money out there willing to invest into this. So we need more projects. That's what we need. Uh, there's huge competition for every project out there. And so if there were more projects, we would have seen faster development. Well, the, the, uh, the progress we have seen in the last five years is really amazing. The costs uh, have come down uh, dramatically and the field of applications has really broadened. But what you see now is that uh, renewables innovation is really changing here.